Yo, what's good guys and welcome back to the Xetro Beats TV. In this video we show you the best way to structure your beats to make the artist's life easier. So I will take one of my beats as an example and I'm going to explain every section, how you can create them and also some variation you can do because I mean there's not only one way you can structure your beats but there's also other ways you can structure them. So let's go inside of our studio and let's see what we got. So the first section of a beat is the intro usually in the intro uh, there's the melody and maybe a bass or you can also start the beat immediately with the drums sometimes I did it but in this case I just start with the melody and the bass and I made eight bars intro that sound like this Basically, there's all the melody elements and the bass. You can also do a intro of 16 bars if you want, like you can just keep some melodies elements in the first eight bars and then in the other eight, you can add other melody elements plus the bass. I usually put a bass in the intro cause it creates like that kind of tension that I need before the beat drop. After the intro, you can put the verse or the hook. In this case, uh, I start with eight bars verse. So I have less melody elements, obviously, because it's always uh, very important to keep space for the artist. So don't keep too much on the melody, but keep just two or three elements, like not too much, just to leave space for the artist's voice. So keep it clean, you know? And also there isn't all the drums element cause uh, it's the verse and yeah, I want to make the artist understand that it is the verse and not the hook. Usually in the verse, you got less things going on. So the first eight bar verse sound this way. Okay, so I have three melody elements, the piano, the bell, and that guitar, and four drum elements, hi-hats, clap, 808, and kick. After the eight bars verse, I got eight bars hook. And as you can see, there's all the drum elements, and I add another uh, melody element, so the harp. So I have four instruments in the melody. And this is the hook because you in the hook you usually put almost everything so it's the most busy section of the beat it is the section that has like more uh, energy you know so this is an example because you also can start the beat with the hook for example and not the verse like i did and make like 16 bars hook uh, immediately in the beginning so there's a lot of ways you can structure your beats but let's focus on the structure at the moment so uh, i said that i have these eight bars hook that sound like this As you can listen, there's all the drums element and uh, I add that harp in the melody that gives more energy to the melody. And I mean, you can easily understand that this is the hook of the beat. After the hook, I usually add 16 bar verse. So we got less element going on. So less drum elements and less melody elements. So I remove some, some elements from the drums and the melody to make the artist understand that these are verses. Let's give a listen. So in the first eight bar verse, I removed uh, some drum elements and also some uh, melody elements. I removed the guitar that is basically the main element of the melody. So it's easy to understand that we are going into another section because there isn't that guitar. And I add also another element that is the choir that uh, I, ne I never added before except for the intro. And I keep the harp that is an element that was also in the uh, hook. but 
but it makes uh, the transition better in my opinion keeping the arc and the second eight bars verse are the same of the verse before the hook same verse so i keep only the guitar on the melody and i keep in the drums hi-hats clap eight weights and kick in the verses i also advise you to make uh, some variation in your eight weight pattern so you can remove some notes or just change the final parts like here and here so in the final parts of the pattern you can also make some cuts in this case i didn't make any cut but you can also make some i mean be creative like don't do too much like don't don't create some too much complicated stuff because in my opinion it's better to keep the, the the things easy and basic you got always to think that you, you're making a beat for an artist that he gonna rap on your beat so don't try to do too much you know you got to keep it clean like i said before after the uh, 16 bars verse we got eight bars bridge that is basically the, the the intro i basically take these and i copy it it's the same thing you can do like that you can just take this part and copy and paste it that's it so uh the bridge is the same thing of the intro obviously you can do variations like you can even do a bridge of four bars for example uh all depends of what you have in your mind and what's the beat that you want to make but i usually respect this structure final part of the beat is the outro so after i copy and paste it i just add the outro that is this final section also here you can do like whatever you want you can just end the beat with the melody you can end the beat with some weird effects or in this case i just copy and paste the hook and i just put a volume automation that goes from 100 to zero in terms of volume and the seat so this is the structure that i usually use for my beats like i said there's a lot of way you can structure your beats but this is the structure that I usually respect for my beats. Obviously, if you work with an artist directly, it's more easy to structure the beat in the best way because you talk directly with him and uh, you, you understand his needs. Uh, in case you don't have connection with an artist and it's like uh, just an artist has purchased a beat from your beat store, he can purchase the stamps so you, he can arrange the beat how he wants. So that's it, guys. This is how I structure my beats. This is a question that y'all asked me a lot of times and this is the answer so i hope i helped you with that and like always don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like to this video if i helped you and another thing that i forgot to tell you is that i have a patreon channel and in my patreon i offer you uh, some services like weekly royalty free samples you can send me your beats for reviews you can collab with me you can see my projects how i made some beats the techniques i used i leave you the link if you want to take a look to it and see you in the next one